on 95.3 FM in Window Desert Radio. The Bold Boys. A bit more about that. Tangeni, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing on this Friday? Oh, I'm very well. Thank you for having me. Are we excited for the weekend? Oh, always. <laughs> it's always a that's, good day when it's a Friday. That's the time to go and unwind uh-huh. and then re-energize. 100%. And yeah. uh, no, thank you so much for making time for us, uh, Tangeni. Look, there's some big news uh, that the Namibian has to offer, uh, especially football lovers around the country. The Newspaper Cup is back uh, after, of course, a few years um, off the grid. Uh, uh, speak to us from your side personally. How excited you are? Yo, more than excited. Yeah. I mean, um, I I think I should point out it's it's the Namibian Newspaper Cup mm-hmm. or the Namibian Newspaper Cup because it's no longer just a Namibian soccer cup. Yeah. It's no longer just football, mm-hmm. but there's netball as well. I understand that as well. Yeah. So um, this is a project that's been going on or at least our investment in society mm-hmm. that we've been doing since 2001 or mm. is it 2000 yeah um and if you actually look at uh players at top level of the country mm. whether you're talking about under 21 23 uh the brave warriors mm-hmm. Um, I think there will be very few or perhaps none who have not gone through the Newspaper Cup. Mm. Like they were scouted at the Newspaper Cup yeah. to go at um, to go play at that highest level. Mm. So we are happy to be back after a two years absence. Yeah. I mean, since COVID, we have had to shelve it. So it was, it was quite painful, heartbreaking. Um, I think it's probably they've been the the most consistent um, sports uh, competition, mm-hmm. sports tournament in the country no, for over two decades. Um, uh, so it was it was heartbreaking to have to have to to stop it mm-hmm. during those COVID years. Now you gave us just a little brief history on the cup. We'll get back into that history uh, element of it uh, a bit later. But um, I'm, 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 I'm more interested to find out how excited you are with where the Namibian newspaper is right now. There's a new baby, of course, on board. That's Desert Radio um, that uh, the Namibian newspaper is busy growing right now. So seeing that, uh, you know, we are here right now in that position, come uh, the newspaper cup, how will things be different? Is there a new element that we can look forward to seeing? that now uh, there is this whole broadcast uh, uh, section of the Namibian, um, you know, uh, the, the multimedia essentially is shining now more than ever, uh, just in regards to, 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 to the brand. Talk to us about that. Um, yeah, I think we will always need partners, so I, I, that's something I have to um, emphasize. Mm-hmm. We will always need other media organizations uh, to come on board and mm-hmm. and uh, beam this competition to their audiences. Um, you will appreciate that different people love to get their information through different ways. Yeah. Um, but with our broadcast center, um, with us beefing up our digital platforms, mm-hmm. it only means we can now offer a bouquet, a buffet, actually, yeah. um, of of services to a, a, an array of um, audiences. Mm-hmm. Uh, that that means at least there is some dedication, dedicated time that will be given uh, through the broadcast center, mm-hmm. through other electronic and digital platforms. It's no longer just waiting for the print version yeah. to. To publish what is what is happening, but we could 
be updating our audiences throughout the day. Definitely. Well, I'm, sh- the competition I'm, sh- I'm sure uh, most uh, uh, listeners, of course, and um, and viewers and football lovers and sport lovers um, are quite excited because, like you said, there's an addition of netball as well uh, within the newspaper cup um, that has been traditionally known just to be a football cup, right? Uh, so just talk to us a little bit about uh, that addition of, of, of netball. Um, we added netball about five years ago, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken, maybe yeah. before. Um, and it was, I guess, long overdue. Uh, you know, we, uh, we've we often talked about societies in general um, neglecting or not taking on board the girl child mm. as, as early as possible. So this was really part of our feeling that we need we need to broaden uh, this competition and bring in the girl child mm-hmm. because even young ladies young girls also need the same investment as the boys have had yeah. so there was no reason except maybe for um, funding purposes that we were unable to have to to broaden that tournament but we've we've managed and we are growing that now and um, are there perhaps any plans um, in the near future to uh, broaden it even more and perhaps bring on other sports codes uh, that will be enjoyed by a variety of Namibians? Well, believe you me, if we could mm-hmm. uh, do it at, at a, a snap of, a fi- of the fingers, we would do that. But yeah. it's always about resources. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if the resources are available... I don't think that would stop us. But for now, we would stick to at least the the sports that so far seem to attract the majority of mm-hmm. Namibians. Um, so we we want to do the football and the netball well before we can think of uh, branching out and spreading ourselves or to avoid spreading ourselves too thinly. I guess that's fair. Uh, Natangini, let's just quickly go back to the history of the competition. Uh, like you said, something that's uh, been running for um, uh, the, you know a good two decades now. Um, why did the Namibian decide to get into um, this sort of responsibility, uh, but in the form of sports? Why not anything else? Uh, perhaps look at the arts or you know any other sort of sector. Why why sports specifically? Talk to us about how that came about. All right, um, you know life life uh, is about diversity. Mm. Life is about different things. Um, we believe we've been involved in the um, information and intellectual field for very long. Mm. In fact, it's not just sports. We we also do uh, sponsor and run the debating competition mm. among schools. Mm-hmm. So football, netball, those cycling um, draw in quite a large number of people. And w- our thinking is we have to invest in our society in different ways. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you cannot feed the mind without feeding the body. Otherwise, it's, it's a mismatch. Mm-hmm. You, you can't have a couch potato simply uh, being fed. Otherwise, the, 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 the body then sags and affects the mind as well. So it's, it's all about broadening our investment in, in society. Mm. And um, I'm also quite interested, I mean, look, you, we all know, and you mentioned this as well, um, that we have seen uh, players being scouted at the Newspaper Cup, moving on to national level, some moving you know, to greater heights, to bigger clubs as well. Um, but speak to us a bit about what benefits you've seen this particular initiative um, reap to um, you know, the, the players themselves that are on the court and on the field, uh, but also to the business community and the community at large within the country. How have you seen this be beneficial uh, towards the country? All right, that's quite a mouthful, but let me start here. Um, we've always had partners on board, mm. or not not always, but for, for quite a long time now, over the past, say, seven, eight years. Mm-hmm. Um, now we have Standard Bank on board, mm. who are helping us put this competition out. Mm-hmm. 
among the benefits that I think this uh, co-sponsors, our stakeholders, Standard Bank, Coca-Cola, uh, and several others, I think that what they see together with us is that reinvestment in our community. Yeah. Um, the cup is, for instance, being held in Oshana this year. Mm -hmm. What I know from the past is that the, the communities within and around either that town or the region mm -hmm. would see an investment in more of more, more money than what we are pumping in to host the competition. Mm. Let's say, for instance, the the last time we have we held this cup, it was uh, almost three million that we pumped in. Um, what you get, the multiplier effect in the community, is probably double that. Mm. So that alone, some of us are products of Kapana. So when you see a Kapana auntie selling at the stadium or around that stadium, people who travel hundreds of kilometers yeah. to just sell. That that tells you there is an investment that goes back into the community. 100%. And then, uh, Tangina, I see we're running just a bit out of time here. But just before I let you go, um, look, the launch is on Tuesday. We know that. Uh, but uh, without giving a bit too much away, uh, just tell the listeners and the viewers uh, what they can expect from this uh, edition of the Newspaper Cup that many, I'm sure, have been dying to experience again. Uh, I think I will not give away anything <laughs> in any case um, because it will be great for our stakeholders. Yeah. That would be Standard Bank, mm -hmm. um, Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Then we have um, the host, Oshana Region. Yeah. And my old friend there, the governor, uh, uh, Ilimari. Yes. Well, we'll... I think we'll give the, the public a lot more than what I can just say. What I can say is we will, we are back mm -hmm. with a bank. Oh, we will be back with a bank. Well, there you have it. The editor in chief of the Namibian newspaper, Tangena Mupadi. They're quite excited to uh, be uh, giving us the Namibian newspaper cup back again. Uh, the launch will be on Tuesday. And like you heard there, he doesn't want to give away anything at all, not even a little bit, to the listeners and viewers. So, what you can do for yourself is on Tuesday, do make sure to be tuned in at 10 o'clock uh, on our Facebook platforms uh, where the launch will be taking place. And you will be hearing everything that's in store for you uh, come uh, the time for the cup. Tangeni, thank you so much for making time for us this morning. Thank you.